Hey, what's up guys? My name is Chao Charles and this will be a very short video where I will be showing you how to host your React app on Firebase and all you need is to have a React app and to have a Firebase account. So if you don't have a Firebase account, just sign up with your Gmail account and then click get started. So in this uh, page, we can now add a new project. I have several projects here, but for the demo, I'll be creating a new project. So click add new project, enter the project name. I'm just call it, going to call it React App and then continue. Then there are some configuration, Google Analytics configuration, and uh, I'm not going to configure this for now because it's just a test project and then create the project your new project is ready continue so our project have been created and the service that we want to use is hosting so just click hosting and then you can uh, click get started so these are instructions on how to go about it then they are just very easy to follow so these are the instructions that i'm actually going to use so the first thing is to install firebase tools so i'm just going to copy this command and uh, go to your command prompt make sure you are in the right path okay of your react app and uh, create say npm install minus G to install the tools globally Firebase tools and then enter so this will take a while when it's done we'll go to the next instruction so Firebase tools have finally been installed and uh, the next command is initializing the initializing the your project and uh, the first thing is that you need to first log in to Firebase I run this command firebase login to log into firebase and this will just bring a pop-up where we can just uh, select the account that we want to log in with so it happened that I am um, already logged in into another account and uh, that is a different account from the one I'm using here so I'll first log out from uh, the account that I'm currently in and log into the right one. So I'll run for this logout. Sorry for this. And then I'll run for this login again to log into the right account. So allow Firebase to collect CRI usage and error reporting. So that's your choice for now. I'm just going to say no. And then it is prompting us to uh, sign in with uh, the account and the one that I created the demo project with is this one so I just log in as charles at gmail.com so allow Fabius CLI to access your Google account just click allow and it will log in as to Firebase woohoo Fabius CLI login successful so we can go back to our command prompt and uh, you can see success logged in as charles at gmail.com the next thing that we want to do is to run uh, our next command which is uh, firebase init so i just paste that one there i'm just reset typing i'm so sorry this will take a while and boom okay this was fast are you ready to proceed yes so here you select the service that you want to use and the one that you want to use is hosting and uh, you press space to select a to toggle all i to invert selection so i'm just going to go to hosting using the down arrow keys and uh, place space to select and press enter and then okay please select an option 
so this is asking you which project do you want to use uh, create a new project um, this in this case we are using an existing project so it is uh, the one that is currently selected here but you can create a new project and uh, there are other options down there so enter please select an option use an existing project select a default firebase project for this directory so this is where you select the project that uh, we want to host and uh, it is this over here react app i select that project uh, what do you want to use as your public directory so this is where the application will actually be installed and uh, there is a command that we run called uh, npm run build to optimize our react app so and that command will uh, create a folder called build where it will install new files there uh, optimized files so in this case i'm just going to use build as the public uh, folder oh my god how is build written i'm just bad at uh, typing okay so uh, our, our project will be hosted on a public folder called build in firebase so and you can call this any other name that you want i'm just going to stick to this one for now enter configure as a single app uh, a single page application yes and uh, the next thing that we want to do so firebase ensure is complete the next firebase command that we will run is uh, i guess it's deploy yeah firebase deploy but before we run firebase deploy we need to optimize our application by running this command so npm run build so the build have finished and uh, when i go to my project you can see that there is now a new folder here called build and when i expand this folder you can see that there are optimized files here you can see that we have uh, CSS, JS, media, just optimized files uh, for this application. And uh, this build is the one that will be pushing it to Firebase when we learn Firebase deploy. And it's just that one command that have remained for us to bring our React app live. So Firebase, Firebase deploy. And uh, enter. So deploy completed. So let's go to our Firebase uh, website. Continue to console. And when we have finished, you can see that now here we have React app, and uh, we have a link. You, see, you can see here domain. When you link, you click one of these ones. It should definitely open our react app and to make sure it's the correct one i'm just first going to cancel the localhost one and then click one of these links and uh there we go our react app is up and running and that's it for this video i hope it was helpful uh, just uh, support my channel by smashing subscribe and also stay safe uh wash your hands regularly to avoid corona and uh, I'll see you on my next video.